Hi, my name is Seth Martin, and I'm here to show you how to set up a MAC address filter on a Netgear WGR614 wireless router. Uh, the first thing to know is that MAC address filters only work on devices that are wirelessly connected to this router. If you are wired to the router, you cannot be filtered out, so anyone wired can have access, but wireless devices can be filtered. The first step is to open your browser. It doesn't matter which browser you use, um, Edge or Chrome or Firefox or anything else. Um, and then you can navigate to the router's firmware page by either using routerlogin.net, oh, routerlogin.net, or you can use the default IP, which is 192.168.1.1. Either of them should work get this page in the right place. So if the network's connected to the internet, um, you can set up the internet first, but if you're not connected to the internet, like my test network here is not, just say no and hit next. And then I'll ask you to log in. If you haven't changed the password on the router, the login will always be admin, no matter what, but the password is P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, just the word password, all lowercase. Um, if you have changed it, you have to find it yourself, or you can factory reset the router and it won't go back to password. The MAC address filter is a little tricky to find. It's under the Advanced tab, Advanced Setup, Wireless Settings, Setup Access List. Um, it's not under Basic Wireless, Wireless Settings, even though that looks almost exactly the same. You actually have to go to the Advanced Setup page and do Wireless Settings. I should point out here that this is for this version of the firmware, 1.0.2.54. Um, if you have a newer version of the firmware, it may change from this. This is uh, November 2018, so I don't know how much it's going to change this in, but this version of the firmware right here. Set up the access list is where you go to do that. And then, so you'll see there's no devices listed under here right now, and the access control is not turned on. So click Add to add a device. It'll tell you all the devices that are connected to your network right now. And then uh, you can select them. Or if you have a device that you want to add to the whitelist that is not on the network, you can just name the device whatever you want here. And you can type the MAC address if you know the MAC address. If you don't know the MAC address, you'll have to connect it to the network uh, prior to implementing the filter in order to get it. Um, but luckily, everything I want to have on the network is already connected here. So I'm going to select this guy and add him to the network, and you'll see now he's listed here as uh, viable. I want to add two more, so add this guy, adding him. So now I have two listed here. Add. I want to do 68 this time. It just fills it in here for me, and then I hit add. So all three are added, but the access control list, the filter, isn't turned on yet. You have to click here, and then click apply. When you click Apply, it actually reboots the router. And this router takes about 70 seconds to reboot, so you have to give it time to reboot. Um, also, some devices that lose connection uh, during the reboot process, they are going to lose connection during the reboot process, but some of them don't come back the way they should. Um, depends on how new the device is and how it's handling the internet connection or the uh, network connection. So if you have a device that should be connected but isn't connected after the reboot, just reboot the device and it should work after that. Once the router is done rebooting, reboot the device. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how to implement a MAC address filter on this network. Good luck!